How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Master League here on Pez 2017 with Venezia. So the last episode, we finally got a victory in league competition with our uh, result against Empoli. Now we've got another home match as the month of November has started. Uh, we still need to do some things in the squad to strengthen the squad if we're going to get ourselves out of the bottom of the table. But first and foremost, let's head to the game board and see what challenge we have for this upcoming match. Three, two, one, go. It's a two. And we could put in another transfer bid on a player, it looks like. So let's see who we got on, on uh, the shortlist and see if we can put in a bid for someone else. Going to the shortlist here, we're going to focus on uh, Pet Riccone here uh, from Lecce, a midfielder. Plays that anchorman role, so he could kind of play in that back two that we currently have. Um, this contract is going to expire in two years, so um, I'm thinking the loan for this player since he's on a Serie A team. Maybe get some playing time. He, he'd he probably be a serviceable bench player for us and add a little bit more depth to the midfield, which we could all obviously definitely use. So we'll go ahead and ask for a six-month loan on this player. Here's what the lineups look like for Erickson's side as we play host to Juvi Estabia. We've got Lazzarini holding the fort at net. We got Cringe and Cremonese, the center backs. Molinaro and Fiordalicio, the fullbacks. Zuccolini and Lolo, the defensive midfielders. Amaru, the attacking midfielder. Longo and Capello, the support strikers, alongside Zagoni at center forward. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Penzo site of another Serie B matchup here as Venencia plays host to Hubia Stavia. And right now, Venencia finally getting off a win in the last episode and looking to build off that here at home as uh, Stavia towards the bottom of the table with us as well so this is a huge game for both sides to hopefully springboard them maybe closer or even into the mid table as uh, the month of November is coming the temperature is dropping let's see if uh, and keep the uh, momentum going here for Venezia in this match. And we will whip this ball in. Good pace on it. Somebody's there. Had it. Oh, Capella was there. He gets his head to it, but shoves it wide. First real chance in the match here off the, off the corner. It's a good ball in. Just poorly executed there by number 28. It's going now. Now wide. Ball sent forward now. Oh, the shot, and it's a big save. Nazarini. Long go. Still got it. And now one. Molinaro. Crossed in. Good pace on it. Capella's there. He gets his head to it, but he sends it wide. Another opportunity for Venencia here. So really putting the pressure on here. Good possession there. Get the ball out wide and cross in. Just couldn't quite deliver it into the back of the net. Oh, Amaru slid down there with a the challenge. It's a bit aggressive, and he's going to go in the books. Early looking for number 10 there. It's one thing Venencia is not shy about. It's going to ground. It to cause a tackle there and just clip the man there with the studs up. Not too heavy a touch. Oh no, he's around the corner. The shot, and it's in the back of the net. And it is a goal for Juvia Stabia here at the pen zone. Once again, it just feels like we just a little bit outclassed here as Cissé gets the goal. So he's causing us fits there defensively. Just like that, the Lions are down once again. Just finding themselves in a difficult situation here against the passing. Just too many errant passes there. Nice little one-two there. Our, our captain, Molinaro, went out of position there to try to cut off the angle. Unfortunately, Cissé just dribbled around him and got the goal here. Nice little move to the outside. And just a wicked shot off that left foot, or the right foot, I should say to the far post as this really had no chance. Sends that ball deep. Oh, it's headed up brilliantly. 
Longo with the shot, and it's a big save from the keeper. Great job by Zagoni to win that ball and then pull the defenders in and wait for his support here. He's all alone in space. The defenders were closing down on him. He just lays it off to a hot foot of Longo here, our leading scorer. And he just can't bury it to the near post. Oh, nice ball at the top. The header, and it's one, and it's gone out for a goal kick. Great opportunity there for Luvia Stavia working the wings. Just kind of a sloppy defending. It was a contested cross. Granjic went out for it, but he just couldn't beat Zise, who seems to be on a man on a mission at the moment. No, it's oh, and it was a thought of that was going in. As they just completely broke us down there on the counter attack. Our back line was so exposed there. Somehow was still on side. And ooh, number ten, that should have been a goal. Oh, that's a hard foul by Lolo. Had to chop down the speedy Cisse, and he's going to get booked for it. Lowe's had to put in some work in this game, covering a lot of ground on the pitch, and uh, another foul. Oh, and Zuccolini just chopped down Cisse. He's getting targeted here, and he's going to get shown the book as well. Definitely not, not shy at uh, calling out Venencia here with some hard challenges. Cissé is finding his way to the ball. Shot from distance just goes wide. Would be a stabby. I want to get a second goal here. Don't feel safe with this one goal advantage. And not a bad effort off the set piece play. We've got to be doing better in the air, but Looks for Andu, and it's off the post and in. What a play. And Andu off the bench gets a goal for Venezia here late. And that could be the difference between a draw and a loss here. Excellent play there. This has just been scrappy play in the midfield. Very high intensity matchup. Tell Lolo just played that ball beautifully between him and Zuccolini. Little one to Lolo saw Endu wide open. They just made him pay there. He was wide open in the middle. Just absolutely brilliant through ball there from Lolo. And it's off the post and in. Good control here. Sends up well deep. Headed one. Sensei for distance and he'll score. What a turn of events here at the Penzo. It's the youngster Sensei who gets the goal and puts Venencia up 2-1. In just a matter of minutes, the momentum has completely swung in our favor. Great ball in there and an even better finish from distance from the number seven. And Pubia Stabia shell shocked. We've been chipping away at him, chipping away at it, and we finally broke through with back-to-back -back goals here. You can see it was a mistake, just a long pass cut off. And uh, Zuccolini plays that ball long, and it's one. And Sensei able to get a, a hold of Longo's header. Great effort by the uh, forward there. He was tired and just lays it off to the youngster who just buries it home. And there's the final whistle. A huge come from behind victory here as Venencius extend their winning streak to two games in a row now. 2 1 the final here at the Penzo. What a match that was. Um, it really didn't look like we were going to get much out of it after a few chances most of the game. Up to the about 75th minute, I'd say this uh, via Stabia side was dominating. Had the game in control. We just couldn't break through, but finally we did. 
towards the 88th minute, and it was our bench that did the work. Hindu and Sensei both getting off the bench here early in the second half, got their legs under them and scored two big goals for us. Um, can't complain with the performance of the boys here. In a match that was, um, I mean, we were pretty even on paper us sides, but definitely we're not getting, we were getting a little bit frustrated with their playing their long balls as we were causing a few more fouls than what we normally would like to see, but um, it's very chippy, high intensity back and forth match, but we end up the victors and get three more points in the bag. With match day 11 in the books, let's take a look at the table. As you can see, we have crawled ourselves out of the bottom. Now we are 14th. We're getting closer and closer to that mid-table with our second straight win. We've improved our goal differential. is now even, 16 and 16. Um, I think uh, Hubia Stabia, yep, they are down at the bottom. So both teams were were struggling. You can see the goals for Hubia Stabia, only three goals this season. So um, it was a bit of a shock that we were struggling as much as we were, but we did manage to pull it, grind it out at the end. So, I mean, it's promising right now. We're scoring goals, which is a good thing, and we just need to get our defense a little bit more stout going forward here. Well, that is going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. What an episode this was. I'm so happy we got the win, and it was looking so unlikely. It's two wins in a row now. Hopefully we can continue this momentum here in November and hopefully maybe looking to bring in some new players into the side as well. But uh, it's great to see our depth getting some good goal scoring here to help bail us out here and hopefully it'll drag us back up to where we should be and towards the mid-table side. But until next time, folks, uh, take care and I will see you guys next time.